there's the first part to Silver Bells. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Um, I, am, I have a, a set of DVDs that have uh, 15 Christmas songs on them complete. The part ones are all on YouTube. If you'd like to get a DVD set of all the Christmas songs, all 15 complete, uh, just send me an email to easypianolessons at yahoo.com and I can give you information on how to get uh, the DVDs for that. Uh, but this is part one of uh, Silver Bells and the website is www.webpianoteacher.com uh, so here we have uh, uh, the first part of Silver Bells and I added a few little jazz chords but I kept it pretty true to the uh, uh, original chord scheme so let's start with the right hand with a C above middle C and then an A and then let's have G and, T, G and D together and then just a single E so bum bum the next box is the same thing. Bum, 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 bum. Then we go up to a high E here, E, D. And then we have C, A, E together, C, A, E. And then A, A. Then we'll have that A again, but add an F and a C to it. And then D, C. Then we're going to have a B, G, D together, B, G, D. Then move down to G, D, B right here. Then play the same chord but flat everything. G flat, D flat, B flat. Okay? So let's go that far with the right hand. Bum, 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 bum. What I did in, uh, when I played it first is I put this chord up an octave, kind of rolled it with that F if you want to do that. Just play the C, F, A again up an octave and roll it. And then. Left hand has a C octave and a fifth, so C below middle C, then a G, then a C. Okay, so bum, bum, bum. And then here we're going to move down to an A and have A, E, C. So A, E, C there. Then move down some more to F, C, A. And then to a low E right here. And then down even further to a low D, and then an A, and then an F. Bum, bum. And then right here we have G, D, G, and then an E flat octave, E flat thumb, E flat on the pinky. Okay, let's put hands together that far. Here we go. C, A, and then together here, and then left in between, and then together there. So, bum, 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 bum. Next box is the same idea. Bum, bum. Next box, E, D. Now play this together. Left hand comes in between with a C, and then together with the A's, and then together with that. Okay, so this box right here is, and then together here, and then left, left, and then right, right. Then we're going to go together here, and the D comes in between, and then together here, and together on the last chord. Okay, so again from here. Continuing on, we have A, C, F on the right hand, and then A, C, G, and then just a single F at the end, and then A, C, F again, and then move the whole thing down to e, or G, B, E, okay, bum, bum, so right hand here goes bum, 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 now this is just filling, okay? should have put a, oh, that's not right, that should be a D sharp, let's change that, okay, all right, so the fill-in part starts right here, we have E and C together, down to C and A together, and then we have C, F, and A together, and then we have B, D sharp, G sharp, I'll throw in a jazz chord there before we repeat back to the beginning. So starting here, bum, 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 again. Alright, left hand's going to have a D octave here. 
and then a seventh chord, G, D, F. So G, D, F all together, and then a low G. See the down arrow? So off the board, low G, and then back up to a C, and then a G, and then an E. And then let's do that seventh chord again two times, G, D, F, and then play it again. Okay, so uh, starting here, together, together, low G, right, and then together here, and then left in between, and then together here, and then the fill in, all right, and then the repeat sign tells us to go back and start over. So here's the repeat. Still, stop. After you play this low G, stop. Don't play this F. Skip over here to finish. All right. And then I have kind of a bell effect right here. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, let's do this high D up here, and then we have C A G E C A G E. Okay, and the left hand has a C octave. So, okay, so let me, let me get into it, because I'm going to show you this part separately. So, starting here on the repeated part. Right here. And then we're going to have this bell part. Alright, to do this, see I have E, G, C. Come up way up high, E, G, C, all together. Now you're going to play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And uh, on the 10th chord, on the 10th chord, I'm going to show you what to do there. But 1, 2, and you, I'm just taking this chord, E, G, C, taking every note, moving it to the left. Taking every note, moving it to the left. See, it's the same pattern on all the white keys. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Don't do the 10th chord yet. Right. On the sixth one, see I wrote a six there, play G, D, F. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now on the tenth chord, right here on the tenth chord, I want you to play C, F, A. So it's different. So play C, F, A. Right here, I didn't write it, but it's C, F, A on the tenth chord. And then we're going to play B, D sharp, G sharp. For a nice little jazz feel before we get into the chorus. Okay, so let me show you how that works. Uh, <clears throat> here's the, let me just do it all from the beginning. Now we're here, up here. Repeat. this part up here. B, C, and then the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. On the 10th one, play C, F, A, and then that last chord, and then we'll and retard at the end. Bum, bum, and then silver bells. And uh, part 2 is available with all the other part 2's, the Christmas songs on the DVD set. So send me an email at easypianolessons at yahoo to get some information about that. Hope you enjoy it.